Hey YouTube, this is Brandon from Origin Outfitters, the company that brings you the styles you desire for the schools you love. And today we're going to do, do a tutorial on how to change the color of a shirt. Um, this is one of our um, shirts that we were selling. It's a BG shirt. We designed it. But I'm going to show you how that how we get our orange color because we start out with black shirts in um, all our designs. So let's begin. So let's just start out by getting rid of all this stuff and just start with the black shirt. So we have the black shirt, and the first thing you're going to do is go to the um, it's a quick selection tool, and we want to select the shirt. So I mean, if you have, a, this can work with any shirt, just make sure you select it um, so that there's no, no miss spot. So as you can see, it's all around the shirt, and um, there's no spots that are not filled in. But um, we, we don't want this bottom part selected. So we're going to undo that by holding down Alt, and as you will see in the top, it goes to the negative sign. So if I let go of Alt, then it goes back to positive. So negative by holding down Alt, and then we want to get rid of this. So then you just click and drag, and then it will get rid of the um, Photoshop will analyze the um, picture and see what this tries to remove the things you want to want it to remove. So let's get that done. All right, so that's pretty good. That's just, so, I mean, I'm just doing it quick so you guys can see. So then after you get that, you want to um, press C Command C on the Mac or Control C on the on PC, and then create a new layer and um, paste it, and that's Command V. So um, after we paste it, we're gonna want to change the shirt to a gray color. So but to do this, we're just gonna um, get the paint bucket tool. And then go to a gray color. I mean, mine's already up, but just get a gray color, and then press it. And it's not gonna fully, um, it's not gonna fully paint it in. So we're gonna have to do a little bit extra after. But as you can see, there's a miss spot. So then we're gonna go to the paintbrush tool, um, make it a little bit bigger, and then just fill it in. So um, the gray color is going to be the reason that we can change it to any color that we want, basically. So that's like the key to ch getting the color you want because it matches it up exactly instead of having the black um, background, as I'll show you in a little bit. So now that that's fully colored in, um, we are going to, we have to change the um, style settings of this layer now. And we do that by clicking on the layer and then going here. And then we're going to change the overlay. So it's going to look like it went away, but it really hasn't. So then we are going to go with the, with the um, shirt still selected. Make sure you don't deselect this yet throughout this whole process. And then go to the black shirt. And we're going to um, adjust like the, the levels of the shirt. So we're going to go to image, adjustments, and we're going to go to levels. And we're gonna play with play around with these settings until we get the gray color that we put um, on layer five. So, I mean, I know what, um, what this needs to be at for me, but so you're gonna like, drag this over a little bit, and then drag this over, play with this a little bit. So use, I mean, you can find your own setting, but I mean, I've done this a couple times, so I mean, I did this a lot, so I know like kind of where I want it to be. So I mean that that's that's decent. So I'll leave, I'll start leave that there. And then you just press okay and it's going to change the level. So now you have like the gray that you want. And now I'll show you if I deselect. See, now that now you can see that the shirt looks gray. So now this is where we get into the actual color. So to change the color, um, we're going to add another new layer. And we're going to make that layer the style we need it to be overlay. And after that, keep it selected still. The shirt needs to be selected for this. And then pick a color you want. So now because of the gray um, background, we can basically any color we choose, the um, color is going to match up basically perfectly. So I picked orange. And then I just paint bucket it in and the color comes up perfect. So I mean, I, wanna, I wanted a darker orange though. So let me change that. Um, 
There we go. So then we have that orange, and then now it's basically good. So let me show you what would have happened if you just would have um, not did the gray step and just did the over, the orange overlay over the black shirt. So now I'm about to deselect the um, the two gray levels. I mean the two gray layers, so I can show you what the black would have just looked like. So if I select the um, gray layers, the black shirt in the background and the orange, if you had the orange layer, it would have just looked like a dirty orange and it wouldn't have been the color that you desired. So um, basically you just have to make sure you do the gray layers and make sure you do levels with it. And the reason you do the gray layers is because I'm, I could I could put the orange down and just change the levels of that and then it would look nice. But if you do the gray layers, then I can change the shirt afterwards to any color I want and it will match almost perfectly. So I'll show you, for example, if I wanted to do like a light blue, then I change the colors to light blue, go to paint bucket, make sure my color layer is selected, and then I just paint use the paint bucket to paint that in. And now you have the um, blue shirt. And as you can see, like at the bottom, I did a rough copy, so I mean, there's like a little bit that I missed. But I mean, you can just make sure when you do your click selection at the beginning, this is perfect and it fits the shirt perfectly. So the last step I want to show you is if you want to uh, make any like color adjustments to the color you already had, it's basically like light and adjustment. So um, go to the, the first gray layer and uh, go to images again and go to levels. And the levels are going to change like the lighting of it. So you want these details to show up so the shirt looks um, original and not like it's photoshopped. So um, sometimes it'll look like too light or too dark. So you go here. And you basically just edit that. So say you wanted to make a little look, make a little darker, and maybe brighten it up a little bit. But I don't want to make this a little bit darker, so it looks like the shirt's actually real. I mean, depends. It just all depends. Like sometimes the shirt will look too dark or too bright, and you just mess with the levels right there on the um, first gray level. So basically, that's all you have to do. Um, and then you have your shirt. So I mean, this is our final product of the shirt that we created doing this, this, these steps. Let me show you. That was our final product, creating, I mean, using these steps to make an orange shirt from the black shirt. And you can do this with any, it doesn't have to be just like this. It can be on a person. Just you have to make sure to have the quick selection tool and uh, set it um, exactly around the shirt so that there's no missed spots. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out a little bit. Um, do us a favor and subscribe and like this video and um, like us on Facebook also. I'm trying to grow this business, and um, if you guys want any, have any questions or need any help with any other um, things with Photoshop, just leave us a comment or send us a message, and then we'll make a video about it to help you out. So, yeah, just subscribe, like us on Facebook, like us on the video, and have a great day. See ya.